Welcome to the land of Arcadia, a land filled with wild magics, mystical creatures, and epic heroes. These adventurers are trained for their futures at prestigious four-year questing schools known as universities. But not all heroes graduate or attend college. And in Arcadia, the best of the rest came to be known as... The All Arcadians! Or Tim? Oh, the OG. OG, all Arcadian. Welcome. Welcome to the uh, first all Arcadian Dians. We've recorded this twice now because I messed up the first time and I forgot to say the title of the show, so it's good that we're doing it a second time. All right, time for some narration, y'all. The All-Arcadians wake up just one week after informing Dean Claudio of the University of Arcadia that they wanted nothing to do with his quest to collect the office supplies and stop the renegade god catastrophes. They have completed two quests in the past week. First, they defeated David Boss in the Cave of Scrolls to claim the paper cutter at the request of Carl the Fence, who had been hired by the aforementioned Dean Claudio. Then, they went to the Cave of Orbs and completed a quest from the mysterious Pastor Dan. Past they are now the eligible to earn their temporary questing licenses. It seems an easy task, but when was the last time anything was easy for our intrepid adventurers? The Arcadians have been staying at the Constitution Check, a bar and grill in whatever else the writers need it to be. Think fantasy Applebee's attached to fantasy Best Western. A middle-of-the-road establishment, wood, with wooden accents, run by a bartender who goes by the name of Jeff. His brother, Jeff, serves as bouncer of the joint. As the Arcadians descend the stairs, they see Jeff the bartender to their left behind a simple wooden bar lined with stools. Jeff the bouncer, who is a monster, stands by a large iron door set on the opposite side of the room from the stairs. Also on this wall is a stone fireplace. A small fire currently crackles on its hearth. In the main dining area, there are several mismatched wooden tables, rectangular in shape. Some have stools surrounding them, others benches. They were cleaned, mostly, at the end of the prior evening. Sitting at one of the central tables is Carl the Fence, a tough, striking elf who you know to provide provide jobs to the guild leaders. Uh, I'm going to start that part over. A tough, striking elf who you know to provide jobs the guild leaders need done off the books to unlicensed questers. Before we start the role-playing aspect of this game, we need to hear about your characters a little bit for those new to the All Arcadians universe. So... Starting with Hannah, we're going to learn about Shoshana. Okay, I'm ready. I'm prepared. All right, Shoshana is a goddess. Shoshana is a halfling slash lightfoot rogue. She is a super cute, badass, bubblegum pink wearing lady. Um, and she's a Leo fire sign thanks to Barb slash Eddie. All right. Becky, tell us about Obelis. All right, Obelis is a um, demon sorcerer. She's a badass bitch. She likes to curse people, um, usually in their internal organs. She's super cynical, and she hates all of you. And for the purposes of D&D gameplay, we're calling her a tiefling, though in our yeah, version she we a call tiefling. her... Yeah, we call her a demon. So we'll refer to her as demon, but if you're like a rule person, she's a tiefling. Also, she if you're a rule works. person... Uh, yikes. Yeah. We're going to be breaking <laughs> quite a few of them. So, Break them uh, out. don't comment. Just like, no. If you're like, I can't listen to a D&D podcast without every single rule being followed, this isn't the podcast for you. We love you. We'll meet you at the pass. Uh, if you have if you're, problems with this, comment on MySpace, please. Yeah, if you're, if you're okay with us breaking the rules, stick around. The water's fine. Uh, let's hear about Tebeki, played by Katie Schwab. Tebeki, uh, you know, Tebeki with an apostrophe and an accent over the Y um, is a ranger and also a wood elf and uh, has never broken a rule in her life. So excited and enthusiastic about everything and is just really positive about what's happening moving forward in her life. And that's Tebeki in a nutshell. Nutshell? nutshell? <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> All right. And Eddie, tell us about Barb. Barb is a 6'3 
350 pound orc barbarian um, who is very, very in touch with his feelings. Mm -hmm. um, he used to be a barbarian and then he was a bouncer and then he gave that up and now he is questing with this motley crew. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah, it feels a little bit like we just listened to all of their dating profiles. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> It's like if you were to find them on match on okay cupid yeah if you were to find them on bumble that's what it would say um so yeah but don't try to find them on bumble that's not gonna go well uh anyways so Mark uh, hasn't got that far yet. yeah not yet that's that's the gorilla marketing we're going for <laughs> <laughs> next step. sponsored by bumble <laughs> <laughs> God, I wish. All right. Uh, so if you're looking at the avatars on the screen, if you're watching the video feed of this, um, uh, the orc that is shining with pink rays of aura, uh, that's going to be Barb. Our, um, our glorious god doll, uh, that's going to be Shoshana. Uh, our lounging elf is going to be Tebeki. And our fiery demon is going to be Obelis. Nope, not following the choreography. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. For those, for those Dance listening, done. Fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> for those listening, uh, as I described which uh, which avatar belonged to each of them, uh, the characters moved them slightly out and then slightly back in, except for Becky. <laughs> so <laughs> we nailed it. Um, sorry, okay, great, sweetie. So uh, we're going to jump into the actual game here. Uh, so they are at the Constitution check. The Jeffs are there. <clears throat> Carl is there. Uh, and the question that starts every campaign, what do you do? I think so we should go talk to Carl. I think we should talk to Carl, too. Yep. Maybe she can buy us drinks. Ugh, fine. All right. I just like being in the presence of Carl. And Carl likes to be in the presence of you guys. All right. So the All Arcadians head over to Carl, who's sitting at a central table in the Constitution check. Uh, they all pull up stools except for Shoshana, who sits on the table. Because she's Cause a I'm hero. so small. <laughs> I'm going to sit um, on every edge of this chair. Which is just... <laughs> Four corners. Mm -hmm. Remember when I told you not to be super distracting with your avatar? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I will stop. <laughs> All right, this is great audio. Can't wait to edit this. Uh, so uh, you approach Carl at the central table, and uh, she uh, addresses you. What do you kids want? We need our licenses. Also booze. You guys also don't have IDs yet? Uh, okay, that's a lot of things that you're asking of someone with no with no money to back it up. Uh, pick one, maybe, and we'll see what we can do. Licenses. Licenses, I guess. I mean, Shoshana would rather have tribute, but I guess we can find our licenses. How about we call it deal? Guys, or later. I will order y'all a round of drinks and tell you how to get your licenses. Sound like a plan? Yeah! Hooray! Yes. Our All, right. Off. All right. So, uh, Carl orders a round of drinks. Uh, let's get a little flavor here. Uh, why don't you tell us what drinks y'all are ordering? Uh, Miami Vice. Is that a drink? I think it's a drink. I made it up. It's a fantasy <laughs> world. It can be whatever you want. <laughs> Love the Mi Mi Miami Vice. <laughs> Miami Vise. All right. I love that. I will have the traditional orc drink of a tequila sunrise. Mm. Mm. Just get me a shot of something that is on fire. Peanut like, butter and oxblood. Mm. Sure. I yeah. like to imagine that if like it's something on fire, it's like fireball and one five one. So it's like a flaming shot, but it's also Ooh. fireball. <laughs> a mouthful. Speaking of cursing internal organs. That uh, turns yeah. your internal organs real good. Yeah. Uh, and I will have like a pink drink from Starbucks, but with vodka in it. Ooh. Ooh. God damn it, to Becky. <laughs> Sorry. If you wanted one, you should have said Take the elf out of the suburbs. But... <laughs> 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 
All right. Um, so uh, as you're drinking your uh, amazing and very diverse drinks. Uh, <laughs> I came with an umbrella. <laughs> Carl begins Ooh. to tell you about how to get your temper licenses. Carl says, look, the only place to get a temporary license is, uh, well, it's at the most dreaded place I can think of. Ooh, de- sounds scary. The Department of Quest Activities. Look, Ugh. think fantasy DMV. Uh, it's the absolute worst. Uh, but you'll have to deal with it if you want to get jobs that pay a bit better and that are slightly less dangerous. You know, like uh, joining a union. Anyway, you'll need to file your paperwork with the DQA in order to get your temporary licenses. But be warned, many dangers and boredoms await in its harrowing halls. Great. Boredoms? Ugh. Do we have to do this? I mean, you guys, you temporary we gotta license. do it. We gotta get our licenses. That's kind of how this works, right? So, I guess, yeah, we gotta I quit do my it. job and I need the money, so. Yeah. I mean, Fine, you, I'll follow you on this quest. The sooner just, we get licenses, the sooner I can just buy my own booze. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, you could just, like, keep taking the guild's table scraps, and eventually you'd probably die. Hmm. That sounds more exciting. That sounds promising. I have weighed both options, and I choose quest. Let's just get the damn licenses. Did Adam freeze? No. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I'm just holding uh, very still. Oh, Carl, where do we go? For your temporary licenses? Like, how do we find this place? Oh, uh, well, uh, if you head out on State Street, you're going to take a right, and then two lefts go up, a couple of fantasy traffic lights. Write this down. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, we can write that down. Uh, all right, so. Carl writes the des- description down for you of where to go, and uh, you follow her directions, and suddenly, oh, uh, the Arcadians arrive at the DQA. Their wagon stopping in between lines painted on asphalt, and a series of lines pasted painted on asphalt as far as the eye can see. Some etched with runes designed to help those who need additional accommodations. There are patches of nature in the distance, but the evil of the DQA has eliminated nearly all life in the immediate area. Before them is a prefabricated building made of concrete composites and little insulation, seemingly designed to make anyone entering uncomfortable. The building stretches out before them, poorly labeled and functionally obsolete. There are no windows currently in sight. In fact, the only entrance currently visible is a set of steel double doors set off to the left. What do you do? I think we should, like, check the doors before we go in. I mean... Sure. Whatever. Sure. It's a DQA, though. Why would something fight us in here? Why wouldn't something fight us? Weirder things have happened, Barb. I guess so. Bureaucracy is our biggest enemy. (laughs) 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 And a point to Becky. (laughs) To Becky or to Becky? To to Becky. No, to Becky. Point to Becky. (laughs) You gotta enunciate, because it sounds like I just scored it. You're just desperately trying to get points. All right. (laughs) So, um, you want to check out the door? Yeah. Great, we're going to have our first actual gameplay event. Uh, Go ahead. And y'all can roll either perception or investigation to figure out the door investigation would mean that you're like walking up to the door and like poking it uh perception means you're just checking it out seeing what you see perception we pick what one we want yeah you could choose which one you want to do doing perception because my investigation is zero okay great and my perception (laughs) is two we roll a a d20 right d20 so i'm gonna i got a 10 so 12 all right, Ugh. so Barb got a 12 in perception. Mm-hmm. I got a one for perception. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I can't make this up. Uh, you you are looking around, and you're so distracted that you, like, walk into the wall, and, like, are, it's really embarrassing. Like, Ow. It's not great. The, the cab driver laughs at you. <laughs> Shut up. 
cab driver. I rolled an 18 for investigation. Great. Shoshana? I rolled a 18 for perception. Great. Uh, so for Shoshana and Barb, uh, it's just a big steel set of double doors. You don't see anything remarkable about it. I'll reveal a little bit of the, more of the map so y'all can see it. Uh, there's no windows or any other access points that you can see right now. Uh, so that's what you discover with your perception checks. To Becky, on an investigation check that's as high as it was, uh, you explore the door a little bit. And you discover that there's no really any, there's not really any traps or anything uh, insidious about the door. It is just a set of doors. I walk so through I the door. So I discovered that there's nothing wrong. Let's walk in. <laughs> All right. Barb's already in, to Becky. Barb's already inside. All right. Yeah, yeah I just through. walk through the door. <laughs> Upon entering the building, you see a large antechamber designed for passing the time between appointments. Some kind of waiting room, I guess. Anyways, simple plaster walls stand on all sides of you with open archways to other areas of the building on your left and right. The floor is clad in a depressing gray carpet and the walls an upsetting shade of eggshell. Standing against the wall on the far right side of the room sits a table with three disagreeable armchairs. On the same side of the room in a small nook sits a lone fern attempting desperately to provide comfort and a shred of personality to this dispiriting alcove. There are two steel doors directly across from you on the far wall, as well as a door beyond the chairs leading to your right. Standing at the doorway are two large humans, clad in armor and holding short swords and shields. What do you do? Uh, so you've entered the room, you see the two humans. What do you do? Talk to the humans. Yeah, we should talk to them. Talk to them. You, can, you can do that. You can just... <laughs> Talk to them. <laughs> We're still hey learning. Guards. <laughs> hey guards, what's up? Hello, we pass? need licenses. What do we do? Oh, uh, well, so if you need licenses, uh, what you want to do is, well, first, uh, do you have an appointment? An appointment? An, an appointment? Uh, so, Becky, the did other... you not call ahead again? So rude. Yeah. So rude. Rude. How was I supposed to know we needed an appointment? Carl didn't say anything about an appointment. Moving At on. This point, you're just supposed to know. No, we do not have an appointment. Uh, so the other guard's like, ooh, yikes. Yeah, that's that's not going to go super well for you. Um, you know what? Here's what you can do. Uh, you check out, you, you can go sit in that corner. Um, and you know what? I'll talk to the clerks and see if they can squeeze you in uh something like uh 200 300 years is that gonna, is that gonna years. Be an issue yeah. Shoshana <laughs> demands you fast track this process um yeah i'm gonna give you two to three seconds to do what to let us get our freaking licenses for ammo Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Uh, pause. Uh, Becky, or Obelis, and Shoshana, why don't Obelis you make an intimidation check, and Shoshana, why don't you make a persuasion check, uh, which will function similarly to an intimidation check for you. <laughs> okay. Um, so... What am I doing? I'm... Persuasion? Persuasion, yep. Yeah. So okay. Ob Obelis is making an intimidation check. Intimidation. 26. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> Show me where to go, biznet. It's got a 23, so... Uh... Oh, shit. Okay, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nailed it. Okay. So, uh, uh, make it happen. So one of the guys is like, oh, uh, yeah, okay, um... Sure. Okay. Yes. Uh, we will fast track this for you. Uh, if you can just give us like five, five year minutes, minutes, uh, I'm not mm -hmm. used to talking minutes anything shorter than years. Minutes is better. Okay. Uh, yeah. Just give us, give us five. You, you wait here with Justin. Uh, I'm going to go talk to the clerks and see, just give me five, just give me five minutes and uh, we'll, We'll get, we'll get, we'll get, get it fast tracked. Okay, uh, bye. 
um, and that guard runs away. I'm not going to remove it from the screen because that's going to take a really long time. So uh, just imagine that a guard is missing. <laughs> um, okay, so there's one guard left in front of you. Um, oh. You can head over to somebody's already <laughs> at the table. <laughs> Shoshana's at the table. <laughs> I'm not messing around. <laughs> so, Justin, what made you want to be a DQA guard? Uh, well, uh, you know, when when my pops, who was a DQA guard his whole life, he... Uh, oh, my friend left. Bye. Oh, oh uh, that's very rude, uh, but understandable. My backstory Nobody is cares, not that Justin. interesting. Uh, You're all really right. focused on the main characters here? <laughs> all right, yeah. so, you head over to. Uh, You're what we call an NPC. Yep. Uh, you head over to the waiting area. Uh, you've got about five minutes here. What do you do? Uh, are there magazines? Uh, why don't you make a perception check? Sure. I'll perception check the shit out of that. <laughs> <laughs> I got an eight. <laughs> eight total? Hold on. Wait. <laughs> Let me check what my pluses are. Because. I don't remember. Ten. I got a ten. All right. Uh, so there's no magazines, but you do see in front of you uh, uh, what looks to be like a scribbled note on a piece of scroll. Ooh. I'm going to read it. Okay. <gasps> read that shit. Barb reads it. Uh, so uh, there's a note in common, and it reads, there are snakes under the floor in the IT department. Why is that even a thing? There's going to be a memo about this. Jan and HR. Uh. Poor Jan and HR. Snakes are well, cool, though. Well, we got five minutes. Maybe we can go help Jan. Sure. Yeah, I want to talk to the snakes. <laughs> Everyone's like, let's go talk to the HR. Obus is like, snakes. I want to talk to the snakes. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Maybe the snakes are Jan and HR. It's fantasy world. Anything's possible. <laughs> That's very true. All right. Uh, how are you going to go about, um, you know, figuring out where to go or who to talk to? Uh, Justin, where's Jan in HR? Uh, sh she is in uh, HR. Right, but no, where's where HR? is that dipshit? Oh, uh, it's, uh, well, if you go through the clerk's area on your left, then just beyond that is going to be uh, management. But, oh boy, it's it's real hard to get in there without without an actual appointment uh, or, or something. You know, the clerks can the clerks can send you through, but, uh, you know, we're, we're just not... I, I don't have that kind of authority. I think they would kill me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, can I make a charisma? <laughs> <laughs> the most... My, <laughs> the most like first time D and D player question of all time. Wait, can I make a charisma? <laughs> I do. I want to convince him to let us throw. Okay. Uh, so why don't you talk him. why don't you say what you would say in that situation, and then you can make a uh, a persuasion check. Okay. 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 Look. Justin, I'm going to need you to let us through to Jan and HR, okay? It's very important business, and I just need you to not be you for one moment, peasant, and just let us through, okay? Okay. Okay, go ahead, roll persuasion. Okay. Hold on, I'm not good at math. But it's good. <laughs> <laughs> 24. <laughs> 24. Okay. All right. Justin's like, I mean, I, I, I ain't going to stop you if you're, if you're going to try to get in there. I, I just, I, I'm going to tell you right now that it, you're, you're not supposed to do it and it, it might be trouble for you. But uh, if you, this, his dialect is evolving rapidly. Uh, we need yes. to get him out of the scene. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, Mordo. We're going without you. Bye. All right. Bye. Great. So are you going to go, uh, which direction are you going to go past Justin? Um, Gloria, which is the other guard's name, because I felt important to name these characters. Uh, Gloria moved off to the left side. There is a door immediately to your right behind behind you that goes into the building. There are two double doors um, on the opposite wall. So you can go to your right through an archway, your right through a door. You can go to in front of you um, and you can go to your left through an archway. And that's where our Gloria left went. Or well, our characters just... left. I say we follow Gloria. I'm going there. 
Yeah, Justin says it, it was left past the clerk, so we should do that. Yeah, correct. Okay. As you enter the clerk area of the DQA, you see two long desks stretched out in front of you, running parallel to the door and one another. On them are assorted documents and brochures, as well as pens, chained to the desks as if enslaved to a cruel fate forevermore. Across the room to your right, you see another large desk. This desk is separated from the rest of the room by pillars, and stretched between them is a rope, woven of red velvet, creating a feeling of exclusivity. Behind the desk sit two elven clerks, impeccably dressed in their business finery, each looking like they could hold up progress on a project for months at a time. To their right is another desperate fern, hoping, in vain, to liven things up a bit. On the far end of the room, you see three doors, evenly spaced. The walls here remain the disgusting eggshell from the waiting room. Or are these an even more distressing off-white? It's impossible to tell, as the carpet adorning the floor is now a repugnant shade of forest green, faded through years of shuffled feet and crushed dreams. What do you do? Uh, excuse me, we're here to see Jan from HR. Where are those snakes at? Uh, t- t- Gloria's like... Uh, oh my gosh! I was just uh, telling the clerks about you, um, and they're 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 probably maybe gonna might be able to squeeze you in uh, uh, soon. Um, and one of the clerks uh, looks at you and says, "Look, we really don't uh, do this squeeze in thing, and in, unless you have an appointment with Jan, uh, we're not really going to be able to to help you uh, without." the proper forms filled out. We have a note care. about snakes. I don't office. care about Jan. I want to talk to the snakes. How the do snakes. I get to the snakes? The snakes are in IT. Get me there. The IT is off to your right. If we take care of the snakes in IT, will you give us our licenses? Take care of them. They're very well maintained. You don't need to take care of the snakes. Well, I got nothing, guys. <laughs> Can we play with the snakes while we wait? Um, no. The snakes are there for company morale. What's it going to take for us to get our licenses in the next five minutes? Ooh, five minutes. Mm, that seems unlikely. And by unlikely, I certainly mean impossible. Okay, ten minutes. Hmm, ten right, minutes. Well, I'm gonna go check at IT. We're getting nowhere. Oh, uh, well, very well. Bye. They don't look sad that you're leaving. <laughs> I think we can come back to them later. All right, whatever you, you say, keep, Barb. You keep we'll working, Gloria. Uh, uh, okay. Th- thanks for your support. <laughs> you're doing great, sweetie. Thank you. Oh, your support really, I haven't, nobody said something nice to me the entire time I've worked here. We're uh, already gone. Oh, okay. Uh, great. Um, as you pass Justin, she's like, hey, how'd it go? Okay, bye. You enter a wide room. Along one wall are three cubicles walled off with gray fabric partitions that do little to stop the sounds of ringing phones and mediocre productivity. A large area separates those relatively gaudy cubicles from the slums of the opposite side of the room. Here you see desks, six in number, separated by the most meager partitions, accomplishing naught but to prevent you from seeing the face of your neighbor and swaying perilously at the slightest movement. Behind these desks are three windows, attempting in vain to pierce the melancholic impotence that permeates the massive cell. Before the desks, perpendicular, sit three identical filing cabinets, each made of industrial aluminum, with three drawers stacked on top of each other. What do you do? Let's search the file cabinets for questing license that we can fill out on our own. Agreed. Sure, why not? All right, so are you going to walk across the center of the room there? To Like, how are you getting there, is my question. Yes. Well, I'm going to go say hello to the people in the cubes. You guys go and check out the files. Good idea, Barb. You should distract the people in the cubes while we walk over through the center to the filing cabinets. Okay. So, um, Barb heads over to the cubes. I'm going to need to jump back into the editor mode for a second, but before I do that, um, let's pause for a second. So, Barb is going over to the cubes um, Mm -hmm. to talk to whoever might be in the cubicles. 
and the other three of you are planning to go to the filing cabinets. Mm-hmm. Are sure. we coming? Makes, yeah. Is there a door in front of those filing cabinets? There is a door in front of the filing cabinets. So like we can sneak that way while Barb is. Yeah, it's up to you how you want to get there. Um, Shoshana said she was going through the center of the room. So she's just crossing around through the door that you're currently in front of. Um, but to Becky, you can go around the other way if you want. I would like to go around the other way. Okay, cool. It's probably smarter. <laughs> um, <laughs> so Tebeki, why don't you move your character over to the other side there? Um, and Obelisk, what are you going to do? Mm, I'm just going to go the same way as Tebeki. Okay, cool. So uh, why don't you swing around there? Great. Um, all right, I'm going to jump into the other tab because you guys are going to need to be able to see what happens next. Uh, but before we do that, Shoshana, go ahead and make a dexterity save for me. So this is the top <laughs> column. It's not right under dexterity. It's a dexterity save. Uh -oh. In the saving throws? Yep. That's like okay. real bad news, right? It's not I great. I fucked up. <laughs> is it a d20? Yeah, d20. <laughs> I don't know. Good roll, good roll, good roll. Okay. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Hold on. Are you re-rolling the one you didn't like? <laughs> no. No, I just said I'm bad at math. 18. Okay. Great. Uh, Barb, you're going to need to make a saving throw, too, because as you feel the floor rumble underneath you with Shoshana as well, uh, the floor opens up into a pit of snakes. Ah! I mean, we knew they were here, but here I am. Oh, damn, I wanted to be with the snakes. We didn't 13. think this through. What'd you get? Roll the 13. 13. 13. Okay, uh, so both of you save, so you're not going to take any damage from falling into the pit. However, there are 10 snakes in the pit Ooh. with you, hanging out, oh. doing their thing. Uh, they don't look happy that you fell down there with them. Uh, so Tebeki and Obelis are over by the door to the filing cabinets area of IT, um, and... Shoshana and Barb are in the snake pit. What do you do? Shoshana uh, jumps on Barb's back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm just gonna let that happen. That seems legit. I try to pet a snake. You try to what? Oh pet no. Snake. You try to pet a snake. Okay. <laughs> uh, actions from Tebeki and Obelis. Uh, uh, that'll be fine. Talk... Let's check out the cabinets. <laughs> I go talk to the IT people. See okay, so um, let's uh, move your character. So uh, Shushan, or uh, sorry, Obelis is going to be at the filing cabinets, checking those out. Tebeki is going to chat with the IT folks. Uh, and Shushan is on top of Barb. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and Barb's going to try to pet a snake. I'm just going to it. Legit. Um, Make friends with the snakes. Okay. Oh, no. So uh, here's what's going to happen. Let's resolve. We're going to resolve in this order. Uh, it's going to be snake first, uh, then uh, filing cabinets, and then uh, talking to IT. Okay, so that's how we're gonna okay. that's how we're gonna work this out. So Barb, uh, you go to pet the snake, and the snake, who was already unhappy that you were there, is going to try to bite you. Uh, and that is going to succeed unless your AC is over twenty three, which I don't believe it is. Uh, my AC is 11. Mm hmm So. Can I roll anything uh, or is it just... Nope, it just happens. Uh, oh, go you're going to take... You're going to take three damage. Um, and make a constitution save for me. Okay. Which is where on the sheet... Oh, save. Plus three. All right. I love save so much. He just got delivery. Uh, 22. Your sister just gave me cookies. Yeah. That's amazing. Oh, so jealous. This is why you have family. <laughs> True. Sorry, Eddie. Okay. What? Yeah, okay, they're in my kitchen. I have 22. 22. Okay, you save. So you're not going to be poisoned by this snake that tried to bite you. Yeah, screw you, snake. Uh, 22. <clears throat> great. So, uh, Obelisk, we're going to say that that's your perception check. Um... And uh, Barb and Shoshana, why don't you go ahead and roll initiative? Because you're going to be fighting these snakes. Wait, I roll? You just rolled, right? And you say you I... just rolled a 22? Oh, no, I was kidding. Oh. 
Why? Uh, Why would you kid about roles? This is D and D. Yeah, joking take it seriously. And, yeah, come somebody on. Why? Why? This is zero. Dirty twenty-two. I will. It's nice that somebody else is getting beat up. Um. I do want you to roll. Did I say that you were going to go second or third? I'm second. Great. Yeah, go ahead and roll. Um, go ahead and roll either investigation or perce- perception. And that's the difference here is do you want to touch the filing cabinets or do you want to look around them? Around them? Like, or look at them. Touch them. She wants to touch them. She wants to make investigation. Cool. Which one are you starting with? Uh-oh. Left, center, or right? Yeah, center. Which center. Okay. Um, so, uh, you try to open them, uh, but they are locked. Make a perception check for me. Perception. I rolled an eight, so I'm... Go- uh, nine. That's fine. Uh, it's not like it was hiding. Uh, there is a sign up uh, on top of that filing cabinet. Uh where did I put it? Okay, so the filing cabinets are marked. On your left is marked A through H. Um, in the center is I through Q. And on the right is R through Z. Um, you find a note nearby that reads, Don't open the drawers on the cabinet with the manager's files without the key. Also, the one with the files for Jason, Zeidler, Norris, and Bearclaw uh, without keying the password. The other file has non-essential files and passwords. Uh, the password is zero 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 zero. If you need me to repeat any of that, I can. Please repeat. Okay, so there's three file cabinets, right? A through H, I through Q, and R through Z. The note reads, don't open the drawers on the cabinet with the manager's files without having the key. Also... Don't open the one with the files for Jason Zeidler, Norris, and Bearclaw without keying in a password. The other file has non-essential files, and the password is 000. It will also have the password for the other file cabinet. It's a puzzle, the, y'all. The, yeah. I want to go to the uh, the one where I can get all of the other passwords, the non-essential one. So you want to go, uh, you have to figure out which one that is. So you have to tell me if that one's the one on the left, the right, or in the center. Oh. Mm. Um. Could you use it in a sentence? (laughs) (laughs) Can you put Uh, that note in the chat so we can read it? Yes, please. I sure can. Can we all Uh, comment on it? Yeah. Uh, no, because none of the rest of you know that. I was just because you're die. two of you are in a snake pit. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I love D and D. Shit is wild, yo. I can't believe the snake bit me. How what did you expect, buddy? <laughs> could have been friendly <laughs> If they're here for company morale, it could be to boost that, like, their friendly fun snakes. We could but the managers them. said they were company morale. Managers never know what's good for the company. Oh, true. This game got real. Truth bomb. <laughs> Boom. I'm going to put it in our Facebook group chat um, because I'm on a different device right now. Okay. Okay. But there it is. Uh, again, only... One of you knows that. Um, while she's trying to figure out what to do, uh, let's resolve Tebeki. So, Tebeki, you are approaching the IT specialists. Uh, They're goblins, by the way. They are little goblin uh, friends. Friends? Goblin friends? I mean, maybe. We'll find out. <laughs> uh, hi, everybody. No, didn't mean to interrupt, but uh, my friends fell into your snake pit, and I was wondering what you know about this and how I how I could get them out. Oh boy, did they try to take a coffee break? Actually, we were just going to come talk to you guys. Oh well, the snakes are there, so we don't take coffee breaks. Interesting. But like you uh, know, if they're down there, like I don't know. You should probably go help them or something. Do you have a protocol in place for if people fall in the snake pit? Yeah. Uh, send a note to their family. 
oh no that's not good protocol that's just sad uh, <laughs> so uh, savage <laughs> This riddle makes no sense. <laughs> um, poor people watching us play this. <laughs> just so you know, as we're, as they're laughing at my uh, joke about people dying, uh, Ovalis, <laughs> you it. may need information that you don't already have to solve the riddle. You may not have all of the pieces of information you need to solve the riddle. Huh? Just something to keep in mind. You may not have all of the clues yet. So, I would like to go talk to people. <laughs> just, just not give a shit about the snake pit. Anyway. Or the fact that basically someone just yeah. said certain death awaits those of the snake pit. Does not <laughs> give a flying fuck. She found a riddle. You're no, going to be a <laughs> No, no, no. You keep doing you. It's great. It's perfect. I'm just laughing at how, how, how like, from a storytelling perspective, it's it's delightful. Um, so, Obelis is going to talk to people. Uh, to Becky, uh, you can wrap up this conversation here and decide to take an action um, before we jump back into the combat in the pit. Uh, cool. Can I, can I get them out of the pit? You could certainly try. Uh, how would you like yeah. to get them out of the pit? Uh, I think I have rope. No, sure. I don't have any rope. I, I believe that you, your character would maybe have some rope on her. That's <laughs> yeah, fine. We can I've say she rope. has rope. Yeah. I have rope. I would like to throw them a rope so that they can climb out of the pit. Okay. Uh, so why don't you, uh, let's say, let's make an athletics check to see how good you are at throwing rope to people. Mm-hmm. Sure. That's a normal thing to check. Uh, well, it's a good thing you checked because I got a five. Yeah. And let's see uh, what, what, my, what you, if I you, add anything to that. Uh, yeah. You, no, I don't. There is an athletic skill. Okay, great. Uh, so you throw the rope down there. Uh, it, it's like on the other side of the snakes. <laughs> like, like you try to God, like throw it down, down it, but it like oh, oh, sort of swings down right, right on the other side of the snakes. So they're going to have to get through the snakes to get to the rope uh, if they want to do it this turn. Okay, uh, let's jump back into the snake pit. Uh, Shoshana and, and uh, Barb, what were your initiative rolls? 14. 20. Okay, Shoshana's going to go first. Barb's going to go second. The snakes will act as a team, and they will go third. Uh, so, um, why don't... Shoshana, what do you mm -hmm. do? You can attack, Barb. you can make an action, you can do whatever you want. Barb, throw me to the rope. <laughs> I was also going to throw her. <laughs> Great. I love that. So, <laughs> That's so, the first thing I thought, too. Something you can I do that, that, I, that I haven't told you yet um, is that you can defer your turn. So you can say, like, I want to pass my turn right now, and you can do it later when it makes sense to do it. So why don't you defer your turn to Barb right now? Barb, you can throw her. You're going to make a uh, an athletics check. Shoshana, you're going to make an acrobatics check. Um, and we'll see if you can get to the rope. <laughs> Okay, I defer my turn. Cool. So Barb's action is going to be throwing her. 14. Great. Shoshana? Four. Oof. Big <laughs> oof. Oh, no. Um, oh, wait, just, wait, 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 wait. rolled my d10. Hold on. You rolled your d10? <laughs> yes, I did. That is not the right one. We've all fucked up. However, I am lucky and I can reroll one from my d20. 12 is my roll. Yeah, but you didn't, did you roll a one? Yeah. Oh, then you would have had a critical miss. Reroll that one. Go ahead. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, you yeah. don't get to add your modifiers to a one for the record. Aw. Yeah. Okay, but I can so, reroll. Yes. So, Barb, what, what's your total? Twelve. Great. Sixteen. Great. Okay. Yes, this works. So, uh, Barb picks Shoshana up, throws her across the snake pit. Um, Shoshana... <gasps> does a cool, like, graceful, like, her leg is extended and her her uh, her foot is pointed through the air. It's glorious. She grabs the rope in mid-flight. Uh, but Tebeki's going to need to make a strength check to make sure that no, she no. can hold up Shoshana. Uh-oh. 
could I have said that I wanted to anchor that rope before? You, I did you sure should have. <laughs> I'm very um, curious to see how you're going to haul Barb up. Boy, I got an 18, though. Okay, mm. yeah. You managed to hold on. So Shoshana is now on the rope. And uh, Barb, you can finish up your turn if you want. Uh, you can move if you choose to. You've used your action. Um, but you can move if you want. I would say that maybe throwing Shoshana could be considered a bonus action if you wanted to attack. Um, so you can finish up your move, and then we can go back to Shoshana's turn. I attack with my club. All right. So, uh, seven. Seven. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's not going to do it, my friend. You swing at a snake, and it goes, and it dies. Um, wait, what do I add to the- uh, you, your attack bonus is going to be like right by your weapon. I think it's plus four for you. Could weapon. Because be- I rolled a seven. Where the heck is my attack bonus? It's like right, like on look where it says page. club on the first page. Yeah, it's in the middle. <laughs> do you like my hard copy? I do. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> oh, attack bonus plus four, so 11. Uh, it's close, but no, the snake still goes and dodges. Uh, okay, Shoshana, it's your turn. You are dangling from a rope above snakes. Um, I didn't think this part through. Fine. Oh, why do I choose to climb? <laughs> All right, so you're gonna climb the rope. Is that the plan? Yeah. <laughs> Great. Uh, make an ath- make an athletics check because this is straight out of gym class. <laughs> straight out oh, of gym. No. Class. Oh no. Four. <laughs> not a gym class. Oh room. no. No. Uh, yeah, you're going to uh, not only so you try to climb the rope, and not only do you not climb the rope, you slide down closer to the snakes. Too I'll say that's a bonus action. You can do something else if you want. Climb again. <laughs> that's not <laughs> what I feel. I can't do that. No, you have to take a different action for your regular action. So you can attack. You can try to find another way out of the pit. Uh, you get to decide. Um, but I'm not going to let you climb again. Fine. <laughs> um. I... <laughs> let's let's have some fun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try swinging on the rope to safety. All right. So you're going to try to like Prince of Persia this thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess make an uh, acrobatics check. <sighs> Come on, buddy. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I believe. Mm, okay. 19. Okay. Yeah, uh, so you're going to just like swing, you're just going to shimmy and swing the rope, and uh, so I'm going to say, because this is your other action, you managed to get your like feet up, and uh, you awkwardly like shimmy your way uh, onto the top. So you get there, I'm going to say because it took you two actions to do this, you're going to be prone. Um, I can explain what that means if it it comes up, but basically it means that next time you do something, it's going to take you half of your movement speed to stand up. Um, so you're like, sort of like on your belly, just sort of, you know, uh, you, you're not in a great spot. Um, and okay. So Tebeki has a rope. Shoshana is up. Barb, uh, took a swing at a snake and missed next. Uh, the next person that we'll resolve an action from is Obelis, who is going to go talk to people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I want to talk to somebody in a cubicle. Okay, uh, in a cubicle or, like, in the desks nearby? The desks nearby. Okay, great. So Should why don't you move... This dude. Sure. Yeah, that right dude right you just there. there. Yeah, so, uh, hey, how can I help you, I guess? Could you, have you tried turning it on and turning it off again? Or off and on? Well, however computers work. No, I actually have a question. Could you tell me the name of the manager? I would like to speak to them. Oh, do you mean boss? I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Do you mean boss? As in David? Oh, no. Uh, No, Charlie Boss. He's the manager. Any relation? 
Uh, I think they're probably brothers. Seems legit. But not all bosses yeah. are related. But they have the same last name. Whatever. Um, could you... This Norris guy. Does that uh -huh. ring any bells? No. <laughs> Ugh. Well. Thank you. <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> I would like to open the cabinets. I mean, the uh, files. Wait, all of them? No. Or are you saying this to the... Are, are you? Is this in character or is this out of character? Uh, out of character. Okay. I'm going to open a cabinet. Which, no, no. I mean, it's cool to do it out of character. I'm just trying to figure out which one it is. Uh, which, which cabinet do you want to open? I'm going to open the middle cabinet. The I through Q. I through Q. Okay. Uh, how? So how are you going to open that? Because remember, this one had a password on it. Um, I'm going to type in. I'm going to punch in zero 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 zero. Great. You punch in zero 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 zero, and that file cabinet pops open. Pause. We're going to Tebeki. Yes. Oh boy. You have a rope in your hands, yeah. a Shoshana on the ground, a barb in the pit. What do you do? I throw the rope to barb again. Uh, you know the drill. Make an athletics check. <laughs> you can lift a me. 14. A 14. Yeah, you oh, do no. better this time. The rope goes by barb. All right. I want to anchor it to the wall. All right, uh, sure, you can anchor it to the wall. <laughs> well, <laughs> Barb, Barb yells out of the pit to you, so you anchor it to the wall. Uh, the next the next turn is going to go to Shoshana. Um. <laughs> Tebeki looks like she has this handled with Barb, so I'm going to go over to the file cabinets around the snake pit to Obelis. Obelis. Okay, you can go ahead and move Shoshana over to the file cabinets. She you dust yourself off and you you head over to the to the snake pits. Uh, or sorry, sorry, to the filing cabinets. Ugh, too many too many things. Okay. <laughs> uh, next person that's going to do some stuff is going to be Barb. Barb. Um, so you got a rope nearby that Becky tied to yeah. Becky tied to a wall. You got some snakes in front of you. You're in a pit. I'm gonna climb it, but I think I'm gonna hit the snakes first. Okay. I take a swing at the snakes with my club. Okay. In the club. Ooh, Get 22. Close. Yeah, that's gonna hit. Uh, roll your damage. <clears throat> Which is a D4 plus two. Four. Yeah, you kill one snake. Ah, suck it, snake. Smush it real good. There's nine okay. left? That's there not good. There are nine around. snakes left. Uh, so you climb up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you climb up. <laughs> uh, roll athletics. Wait, what's funny? <laughs> you did Very bad funny. for morale. Never mind. Your joke. <laughs> uh, I just assume uh, that I'm not the funny one ever. 15? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll be good enough. You climb the rope. You get out of the snake pit. You solve my snake pit puzzle. Yay! Hooray! I mean, it's still a pit with nine snakes in it that you have to get around every time you're in this room. But at least now you know it's there. True. And only nine snakes yeah. to go. <laughs> nine <laughs> snakes to go. All right. Uh, so let's finish up today over by the file cabinets with Shoshana and Obelis. So you open the filing cabinet. Inside the filing cabinet, you find, as you ruffle around, why don't you make an, uh, an investigation check to see what you find. All of us? Uh, just Obelis and Shoshana, since you're the ones that okay. open it. Ah, fuck me. Um, total of five. Okay. You said it was an investigation check, right? I did. Uh, Fifteen. Okay, so uh, Obelis, you find some files for most of the employees and an, av uh, an annual earnings report. Um, Shoshana, 
you find 30 gold pieces and a password. It says 423167. I'll put that in the group chat. Thank you. 423167. Welcome. 423167. Oh, wait, we have to go back to the riddle. <clears throat> Where's my phone? What riddle, Obelisk? Oh, I kind of figured out this riddle, kind of, partly. And remember, the, <gasps> the riddle's on a note, so you can just show her the riddle, and then she'll know everything that I've said so far. Okay. Shum okay, so Shoshana. Mm -hmm. Here's the note. She shows the note. Mm -hmm. All right, so I through Q is the one that we're looking in right now. You cannot open the R through Z one because... Oh, wait, no. We can't open A through H because that's where the manager's file is, and we don't have the key. Because stupid boss. Yeah, I said boss. Um, so, we'd have to open R through Z, which is the one on the far right. Yeah, and we just got a code. Let's try it. Hell yeah, let's do it. All right. You input the password to the filing cabinet on the right, R through Z, and it pops open. Hooray! Inside... <laughs> Well, I guess we'll just have to find out next time no! on the All Arcadian. No! I bet it's more snakes. <laughs> hey, everyone. I'm Adam Kudashat. Uh, thanks so much for watching or listening, whichever you did. Um, I want to thank Sexy Hackers Studios for uh, supporting and, and hosting the All Arcadians and now the All Arcadianians. I want to thank All In Productions for helping us put this thing together. Um, and I want to thank our amazing cast, uh, Katie Schwaber as Tebeki, uh, Ed Lupella as Barb, Hannah Esch as Shoshana, and Becky Kofta as Obelis. Uh, I also want to say, if you want to check out the All Arcadians, if you haven't listened to it before, you can check that out on sexyhackers.tv, either in podcast form or video form on YouTube. Uh, you can also check out the old archived videos, or recordings, excuse me, of All Arcadians over on the All In Podcasts Patreon. You can check out 30 episodes of the original run of the All Arcadians. Um, the current run episode episodes one through eight are on sexy hackers um and one other thing that i want to plug before i go uh right now we're in the midst of coronavirus this pandemic and a lot of our actors in the milwaukee area where this takes place are out of work and an amazing organization uh imagine mke has the mke artist relief fund uh, that has supported some of the cast members and will continue to do so uh, in this time where we can't work uh, in public. So um, if you want to donate to our Patreon or donate to us a little bit uh, in the Artists in Milwaukee, uh, you can check out the Artist Relief Fund, MKE Artist Relief Fund, uh, Imagine MKE's fundraiser. Um, we would greatly appreciate it. Thanks so much, and we will see you next time.